Let's go, you sons of bitches. Hey guys, welcome to another video about Quake Champions. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Ranger, which is probably one of my favorite characters uh, in Quake right now. So, Ranger has traditional Quake 3 uh, movement, which is basically strafe jumping left and right. And I'll do another video about that as well later on. So Ranger has 100 health with 150 max and 75 armor with 125 max. Uh, this means that he can take a decent amount of damage and still uh, not be killed straight away. And this character model is medium sized which makes him relatively easy to hit depending on what gun you're using. So really what makes Ranger spell so uh, strong is that tele uh, teleport that he can do. And what I find there's three ways that you can actually use uh, the die roll. Uh, one of those being that you can catch people off guard by just being in a different position. So maybe at the start of a duel or even the start of a map, if you can uh, quickly get to another position that other players can't get to and they, they don't expect you to be there, then you can actually might be able to get the kill or, or pick up an item that they they would be going for early on in the game. Another way to use it is in close range situations when you have the rocket launcher and you want to double down on damage, so after you shoot a rocket, if you also cast your ball at the same time, the rocket will explode and you can do extra damage that you might be able to get the kill in very close situations. And one of my favorites probably going to be in mid-range fights when you can confuse your opponent. So if you can actually shoot the ball upwards and as, as you're trying to dodge attacks from your opponent, you can actually quickly teleport to your, to your uh, orb and change weapon and do extra damage by a railgun or another shot like that. Lastly, a big hidden gem about Ranger's passive is that he takes 25% less damage from self-damage. So really what that means is that even in, uh, in close range situations where sometimes you might have to shoot a rocket to do damage to your opponent, but it also do damage to you. And that can mean a lot because when you and your opponent have very similar health stacks, uh, that extra little bit of damage can be the difference between you getting the kill or you dying. So that's it for this video, thank you guys so much for watching. If there's any other content you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments, I'll be sure to make it next. Thanks for watching. Oh, my God.